What is up guys, I'm Boy Raven here today with another fantastic deck and today we're gonna talk about the Peak Rom Bryceman Balbella deck and why Bryceman Balbella? Well, I'm gonna tell you in a second, but before I'm gonna talk about the deck, let's not forget to subscribe to our amazing YouTube channel for more videos like that, it helps us a lot. Also, don't forget that down there below we have 5% discount on any code you would purchase on Professor Oak and you can purchase, you know, you got a link for TCG Player if you want to purchase all of those cards you see today IRL and I highly recommend as long as Peak Rom is well, not as expensive, right? And the whole deck also is down there below. All right, so why Pikachu and Zekrom? Why Bryceman and Balbella? Well, I do love Pikachu and Zekrom. I love, you know, electric type decks. So I wanted, you know what? Let's bring them back. And of course, Bryceman and Balbella, this is a great, great, great card to actually get rid of your Dedenes that you have on your bench to make some more space. So let's go card by card and let's take a look. Of course, some choices are, you know, more towards my IRL stuff. So you will see that happening. So right, so we start with 14 Pokemons and we have a line of 1-1 one, one, Blitzy and Zepstrika. And actually I do like Zepstrika. If you don't have the Dene and you really want you know something that refreshes your hand each turn and discards cards, Zepstrika is a way to go. Definitely a nice budget. You can go 2-2 if you want to. Really good card, uh, quite honestly. And really popular in many decks in Poland, actually, which is quite interesting. Then we have two Dene. Then it's two Pika Rums, one Choo Choo which is a great, great, great card. We do have one, of course, Tapu Koko Prism, two Zapdoses. Why, Raven, why you're playing Zapdos? Well, for those Caldeo GX matchups, right, where you do want to deal damage and there's no power plant or you can't draw into one. Zapdos is a great, great, great attacker. Plus, it's a single prize attacker, so early game you can actually start attacking with him you know he with thunder mountain attack cost zero maybe you can have some uh, electro powers and actually get some action going on like that and coming to certain shield zapdos is going to be even even better so it's good to have something like that one zero aura gx two jirachis and of course one more shadow with resting hold to get rid of uh, chaotic swell and then just slapping your own stadium like bam the stadium and it works then we got you know 34 trainer cards and those are quite interesting trainer cards because you might have seen them before and they are really really nicely working so we do have three electromagnetic radars to search for the GX's and I think like electromagnetic radar is going to continue to be in this deck post sword and shield of course four electro uh, four electro powers excuse me two energy switches right over here to switch in between energies actually um, I do like playing two, but I know some of you like to play three. I think two is like an optimal number. Then you have two great catchers, and why I went with great catchers instead of custom catchers? For online, it's just better to have those great catchers, and my main priority with uh, those cards are going to be the Danes, uh, the mods that are easy to knock out, or just to finish off with the GX attack of my of my Pika Rom. That's why this not really a custom catcher, but we do gonna have a new catcher from Sword and Shield, so you will want to play this one and with one or two copies of Great Catcher as well. Only two copies of Pokemon Communication, two reset stamps, two switches, one tag switch as well to change the energy, two power plants, one Thunder Mountain, one Bell Bell and Bryceman. Here you can play one, you can play two. I like to play one one Cynthia, a playset of judges to actually disrupt your opponent, which is quite good. Again, here in this place, probably you're gonna play money later, later uh, as Sword and Shield becomes illegal. But don't worry, we're gonna update it. I'm just gonna like giving you hints and tips. Then we got one Mallow and Lana, three Volkners. I tried to play four, but four were was really too much. One choice helmet, one actually two SK boards and twelve energy. If you want, you can play Stealthy Hood sometimes. Times if you want to uh, for those Caldeo matchups for your league, but I found you know that not a lot of people do actually at my own league uh, do play Caldeo, and people are still giving up on Caldeo uh, because it's not going to be working with the V cards, right? And 12 energy, of course. So let's save that deck. Of course, the deck is down there below in the description. You can copy and paste it, just start playing it right now. It's called Rum 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 Zek Rum, and let's go. Let's have let's play some games with it, right? I played a whole day today. I know there was supposed to be a different deck today. Today, a controlled version of Slaking, but I'm not yet confident with the controlled version of it, so I just postpone it and we have something different for Friday. So 
do you want to go first or do you want to go second? Actually, um, right now, it's cool to go, you know, first, it's cool to go second. I mean, if you're feeling super lucky, you can go first. If you, you know, if you're feeling super lucky uh, with, with, with the attack and you want to be hyper aggressive, you can go second. I prefer going first, right? Like, I know this is like my thing to do, especially right now because I can play the supporter. But after Sword and Shield is going to come out, well, I will want to go second. Those like little things, right? Those little things that are going to, you know, change as the new rules are going to appear and come. So, let's go. Of course, you know, the, mm, big change, right? All right, so... Oh, let me think here. So I know I'll have Zara Aura, so I'm, I can go Zapdos, I can go Coco. We have a Judge, so I can play Judge turn one. And of course, you know, one of the big changes is that you know Water type is going to be weak to Electric type once again. But Zapdos, don't forget, Zapdos does not apply uh, weakness. Something that is worth worth noting. All right, so let's start already. So we're gonna get some energy over here on the Zapdos. I know everything in my hands is gonna get discarded. So I can either go right now for the Dedene, right, and just refresh my hand, or I can play Picaram and play a Judge to disrupt my opponent, but I don't think my opponent right now has really good hand, so I'm gonna go play Zora Aura, not play a judge, so I can still play a uh, supporter after I'm gonna go and play the Dene and play that the Dene. And of course, because of Zero Aura, I can actually retreat, right? So let's play that the Dene. Let's get the fresh six cards and look at that. We got a pick rum. Perfect. I can again discard the energy. Of course, you know, choice helmet over here. I can go if I want to. I can discard the energy with electromagnetic radar, right? And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we're going to discard the energy, electromagnetic radar, discarding the energy. Of course, uh, going for, I can go for Choo Choo, I can go for the Dene. There are ways, and actually what I want to do, I will go for the Dene. I will not play that the Dene yet, though, right? So we're not playing the Dene yet. And, well, I can either go and pass the turn right now, retreat. I can, what I can do is play Tapu Koko, play, you know, retreat, play energy from my hand and just leave uh, Picaram active. And to, to be quite honest, you know, that's what I can do, and I think that's what I will do. Because I don't think, you know, uh, we're gonna need uh, Tapu Koko a little bit later. I want to be aggressive, right? So the energy is gonna go on that, on that Picarom already. Bam! The Picarom has the energy. Retreat. There we go, because we have a free retreat. Of course, I can play Choo Choo, but do I want to play the Choo Choo right now? That's a great question, and... This is my first turn, so I want to keep it in my hand, because I don't know how much space I'm going to need. Of course, I have free retreat cost if I need to attack with Zapdos, and that's the pass of the turn, but this is, uh, this is a GG, a game number one, right? So, you see, you know, we had a lot of options, like, my opponent kind of knew uh, what we were doing, what we were up to. So, that was a game number one. Let's go, let's play a game number two. And, I mean, I said it, this deck is just fantastic. And cards like Bryceman and Belbella are just making it better, because when you play those two that then, you can play Bryson and Belbella, discard three cards, sure, you're discarding cards because of that, but you're getting rid, you're discarding both the Danes from your bench, so there's no more situation when someone can actually knock out your the Danes and snipe them. So here, power plant, we got the Dene, we got electromagnetic radar as well, as, as well. so Jirachi start, great start with Jirachi, you know, not starting with the Dene, Already I know there's some energy gonna get discarded, actually two energies, right, we're gonna slap that uh, the Dene later, and I'm gonna go for Zera Aura and a Picarom, right, as an Emolga deck, uh, or a Nozzle deck, I should say, right, so it's a Patch Reason Nozzle deck, a deck that, well, do, does play, you know, cards, okay, uh, I don't have Zera Aura. So the deck that does actually go and play cards, for example, like... Reshiram, so I do have to be a little bit careful here uh, with what uh, we're facing. Of course, uh, energy is going to go from my hand. Not playing Power Plan, because if I would play Power Plan and then the Dene, the Dene would do nothing. So let's take a look over here. We got a Thunder Mountain, we got a Zapdos. So I also do have Blitzy, but I discarded Zip Strike, and I know I only have one Zip Strike in my deck, so there's just no point of having it. We do have a Zapdos, let's play him. I still can play Supporter, so let's go, let's find maybe a supporter but a switch I think for me switch is great I can actually 
play that switch and what I can do as well is use it even right now bam Picaron goes front and pass the turn so my opponent might actually think I don't have anything better to play while well, in fact I do have a nice full blitz next turn I have the attack next turn that I can use and he's using Nazli gathering so we will see a lot of Amolgas happening until the last place where he has to go for Pachirizu retreat Patrizu goes front, Snuggly Generator, and he will have a nice full bench uh, of energy. At least that's the strategy he wants to utilize with a Nuzzle deck. I know Reshiram is in his deck as well. Reshiram is a finisher. Reshiram is utilizing all that energy that comes over here. But, I mean, this also makes, you know, cards like Great Catcher for me, just a card that I don't need to use. So... He went for a patch reason now, so this may also mean that he has a Pikachu in his hand. Exactly. So that's going to be a retreat. That could be because it's for free. Snuggly Generator and 5 energy right there on the board onto straight onto his, his, his and Mons. I have to consider that's 100 damage uh, if I'm correct from Raichu. That's if I'm correct. So, like, I'm gonna do my own plan. I'm gonna go with what I wanted to do. Instead of, I'm gonna go with what I wanted. So, we're doing a full blitz. Right, there's six energy left in my deck. So, there are two things that I can do. I can either be super cocky and play the energy right over here and try to snipe, or I can play on Picaram. And honestly, I know I still have Tapu Koko in my deck, so I'm going to be a little bit more confident because I don't think he can actually pull off 240 damage after one Snuggly Generator. I think, you know, he would need one more Snuggly Generator to actually make this happen. And he can still do Cat, right? Because he has Emolga. He can go for another Pachirizu. He can get that Pachirizu retreat. But let's take a look at the right, because I think it was 20 for each. Yeah, so it's 20 for each, so that's 100 damage right now. But I do think he's going to go for Pachirizu. So we might see batteries and another Snuggly Generator. And that's precisely what I said he would do. Oh, I'm so good at this. <laughs> joke, I'm joking. This is to say joke, not, you know, be like, oh, look at me. No, this is a joke. Don't worry about it. So, I mean, because this, you know, I played this deck many times and I like this deck. I wanted to play this IRL, but the cards, like, right, just never came. I uh, had to, you know, go for a refund from the guy from, 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 from a card market from Italy. Well, I mean, it happens, you know, um, it's okay. So, he goes Electro Power, but it might not be enough for 240 damage. But I think, you know, Retreat Snuggly Generator, it has to be like that. I don't think he will think about attacking. Exactly. So, Patrick is another Snuggly Generator, and this time I know I will be using a GX, but I'm, you know, I'm quite, you know, torn on why he played the energy on the Snuggly Generator when he kind of knows that there's a Thunder Mountain on board. So I would rather go and play Energy on Emolga or anything else rather than Pachirizu because that's a loss of energy already. I mean, I would snipe whatever he would have with two energies because that's, you know, that's a problem of three after the Sangli Generator. But I do think, you know, that's kind of a waste of, of this one energy, uh, if you ask me. So, Patrick is a Snuggly Generator, and again, two Snuggly Generators, that is huge. That is an, a big, big, big attack. But what is uh, quite, you know, important... Right, why he's not putting it here? Oh, he might actually not have the energy. He doesn't have enough energy. So you see, as I said, right, this 1-1-1 one, one, one mod, and look at what is ha what's going to happen right now. Why I do like Belbel and Bryceman, look right now. So I will play Belbel and Bryceman. I'm going to discard three cards from my hand because those are dead cards. Those three are literally, well, those three are dead to me. But what happens, right, what ended up happening is we're shortening his bench. So the fact that he played the Snack Generator doesn't matter to me that much because, well, as you can see, right, he has to discard three cards. And honestly, that's a game, right? Because we are shortening his bench. 
and that you know that's why Bill Bella and Bryce are making this deck so good, so powerful in those in those later later moments. So guys, it's a fantastic fantastic uh, showcase of uh, the Picaram deck in the current standard format. And honestly, I highly recommend you checking it out because Picaram is going to come back. I promise you, is going to come back in Sword and Shield, and it's good to just be back in this disruptive disruptive environment. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our amazing YouTube channel for more videos like that. Just don't forget to click this down down there below. You can click my my emoji to subscribe. And so say thank you so much for watching this video. Goodbye. Mwah. Good night. See you guys live on YouTube. Oh, on Twitch. Sorry. Take care. Bye.